students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai education department i am mrs sachita kale and today we will learn english come on students let us begin our lesson today let us listen to an imaginary story in english of standard third and the name of the story is the magic kettle dear children this story belongs to japan here in this story tells us about a animal called tanuki and a peddler called jimu okay let us move to the story the magic kettle see this this is a magic kettle it is an imaginary story okay magic kettle is an imaginary story here it is a story of tanuki a small furry dog like animal found in japan dear children there are many imaginary stories about this playful little animal it is believed in the stories that a tanuki can take the shape of anything or any animal Come on, dear children. Let us go through the story. Once, in the country of Japan, there lived an old man. He lived in a beautiful house high up in the mountains. He was proud of his house with its white straw mats. and pretty papered walls in warm weather he slid back the walls to let the smell of the trees and the flowers come in one day he was standing looking at the mountain opposite when he heard a kind of rumbling noise in the room behind him he turned around and saw a rusty old iron kettle in a corner how the kettle got there the old man did not know but he picked it up and looked it over carefully that's a piece of luck he said smiling to himself My old kettle was getting worn out and this looks like a good kettle. He filled the new kettle with water and put it on the fire. As soon as the water in the kettle began to get warm, a strange thing happened. The man thought he must be dreaming. the handle of the kettle slowly changed its shape and became a head the spout grew into a tail out of the body of the kettle sprang four paws in a few minutes the man was watching not a kettle but a tanuki the tanuki jumped off the fire and bounded about the room like a kitten it ran up the pretty papered walls and even across the ceiling the old man could not catch it he called his neighbor for help somehow they caught the tanuki and shut it up in a wooden chest running after the tanuki had made them both very tired they sat down on the mat 
to rest. What shall I do with this naughty animal? I don't want to keep it in the house, said the old man. Why don't you sell it off to Jimu, the peddler? The neighbor suggested. That's a good idea, said the old man. So they sent for Jimu. When he came, the old man went to the chest and lifted the lid very, very carefully. But there was no tanuki inside. Only the old rusty kettle the old man had found. He did not now want to keep the kettle. He gave it away to Jimu without taking any money for it. Jimu put the kettle in his cloth bag and started off home. He felt that his bag was getting heavier and heavier on the way. But he did not put it down. On reaching home, Jimu put the bag away carefully in a corner. At night, when Jimu was fast asleep, he heard a sudden noise and woke up. He could not see anything, but he thought he heard some noises in the corner. When he lit the lamp, he saw that the kettle had turned into a tanuki once again. It was running around chasing its own tail. It ran here and there and jumped and turned somersaults. Jimu sat watching tanuki for a long time. Then he fell asleep. When he got up in the morning, he saw that the tanuki had not run away. The old kettle was still there lying in a corner. He picked it up lovingly. Do you wish to stay with me, tanuki? He asked. To his surprise, the tanuki answered in a human voice. I will stay with you and make you very rich. You can show me around. People will give a lot of money to see a kettle turn into a tanuki and dance. So, that's what they did. Jimu set up a booth with a platform. He put the kettle on the platform. At his command, the kettle turned into a tanuki. At Jimu's commands, the little furry animal would then walk, run, jump, leap, turn somersaults or dance. People loved to see the kettle change into a playful little animal that could do all this. They paid Jimu well to see the show. Big crowds of people came to watch the show and the dear little tanuki never disappointed them. Merrily, it danced many dances. The shadow dance, the fan dance, the umbrella dance. It never tired of dancing. Soon, Jimu had collected lots and lots of money. He had become a rich man. He said to the Tanuki, Dear Tanuki, you have made me very rich. We can both live in comfort now. We can stop the shows if you like. So they decided to stop the shows. But Jimu did not forget the old man who had given him the magic kettle. He gave some of the money to the old man. All of them lived long and happy lives. 
Jammu and the old man are no more but you may still come across the magic kettle lying in a corner somewhere in Japan yes dear children this is about the magic kettle turning into tanuki isn't it a interesting one yes i hope you understood the story well isn't it if you want some more stories of tanuki you can type the tanuki stories from japan on google and you can hear and you can read the stories okay now dear children we will move to the exercise part now there are some hard words in this lesson we will go through them first okay see this rusty r u s t y rusty rusty means see this box this is rusted box here it is old covered with rust dear children the iron things they get rust when they come in contact with the air and water okay they change their color to brownish red that is nothing but rust okay bounded about see this picture jump here and there got this bounded about means jumped here and there peddler see this he is a peddler a person who sells things from door to door one who travels from town to town to sell his things he is called as peddler booth see these are booths small tent or building in a market okay they are called as booths merrily you know the meaning i think merrily means happily right in a happy and cheerful way summer songs please go through these pictures this is called summer songs the meaning is an acrobatic movement in which a person turns head over heels head over heels in the air or on the ground and lands or finishes on their feet for this see that girl okay these movements are called as somersaults now we will move to the next one find the smaller words hidden in the following words here one word is given you have to find out many smaller words hidden inside this word okay i will tell you only four here carefully the word is carefully here example see this is k c a r e k next is a r e r we can form two letter word three letter word four letter word anyhow okay then next is careful c a r e f u l careful then c a r car right like that many you can search okay next word is lovingly 
L O V I N G L Y lovingly the hidden words in C I N in G O go L O N G long L O V I N G loving right so many other words are also there you can find out okay next word is fury f u r y fury f u r fur f r y fry Y R. This is the short form of year. Okay, I am eight years old. Year. Y R. We write Y R as short form for year. Y E A R. Year. Okay. Playful. See here. Full. F U double L. Full. Year. Okay, next one is play. Next, fall. F A double L. Fall. Girna. Flap. F L A P. Flap. Somewhere. This is the last one. And the four hidden words are were. W E R E were S O M E some W H E R E were and homes H O M E S homes okay some more are there C S O S O M E B H E he H E R her right like that you can go for some more okay w h o who right okay now we will move to the next one that is write opposite words for the following okay from this passage i have taken some words we will find out some opposite words for the given words see old the opposite for old is yes come on tell me old purana naya correct new old the opposite for old is new right next up upar so opposite is down right next beautiful khoobsurat opposite is ugly U G L Y. Remember this word, ugly. Slowly, धीरे धीरे. Yes, opposite is fast. Very good. Fast or quickly. Okay. Next, careful. The opposite is careless. Right? Careful. Careless, happy. Opposite is you know that unhappy. Very good. Okay. Now the next thing is write plural words for the following. You know plural means many. One, many. Right. Go through the example. Animal. One animal. Many animals. S is added here. Okay, animal, animals. One cattle, many cattles. Again, S is added, right? Man, that is one man. Many men. See the spelling changed here. A is there here. It is replaced by E. M E N. Man means many people. Well, many man, okay. Then it becomes men. 
shape shapes is one house houses okay corner yes one corner many corners got this children okay we will move to the next one describe the picture we have to describe the given picture see this is a picture we have to describe describe means here we have to uh, observe this picture properly and we have to write some sentences on this picture whatever we are observing that we have to write in our own sentences okay see this picture carefully for a uh, one minute i will tell you how to write okay and the for next picture you have to write or you have to describe describe the picture okay i have taken here the same picture in small size okay so you will try to write the small small sentences about this picture shall we begin okay see this is the picture of classroom isn't it so we will write this is a classroom okay next we can see here how many students five right about that we will write there are five students who seem to be very happy in the class see their faces they are very happy isn't it so we will write here like this there are five students who seem to be very happy in the classroom next you can see a book stand here correct in this corner and cupboard in this corner we will try to write about these two there is one book stand and a cupboard okay like this you can frame the simple simple sentences next there is a globe see this is globe map it is there this is called globe there is a globe and a plant on the cupboard okay next is there are many books the book stand see so many books we can see right so there are many books in the book stand now we will write about these three here that is wall clock and uh, time table board okay there is a wall clock a time table and a flannel board hanging on the wall correct like this you have to write or you have to describe the given picture i hope you understood about this clearly okay now dear children see here one more picture this is a picture of a village right here you have to write or you have to describe this picture please observe this picture carefully for one or two minutes observe each and everything from this picture see the boat see the huts or small houses your trees small river is there right like that you have to observe each and everything this picture is of full of greenery right see here one more picture for you this also you have to describe you can see here three friends right one is riding the bicycle another is running behind him correct you can see the road trees yes dear children try to frame some sentences on this okay that is nothing but
scribing the picture. Okay. Got this. Thank you dear children. Children please go through this lesson. The magic kettle. Which is on page number 85. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you very much for being a part of this lesson. Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get new updated videos.